Hey y'all, so here's a quick recap of our baby shower. So after looking on Pinterest, I decided that I love the bee theme and I decided to go with that. Even though it's fall time, it's October, I just feel as though the pumpkin theme is so basic and predictable. So I really didn't want to do the pumpkin theme and I feel like bees, you just couldn't go wrong. Thanks to my bestie Nina Simone who flew out all the way from Texas for this event. She got a lot of content from me, so shout out to her for helping me put together this video. You can see in these videos, you get a good idea of how the setup was. We had some drinks, we had a charcuterie board, and just a beautiful area to welcome the guests when they come in. Unless we wanted it to be awkward during the event, of course we had to hire a DJ. And DJ Money Mike is good friends with my boyfriend, so we got a nice friends and family discount. A lot of people played a huge part in putting everything together, but I gotta give a shout out to my stepmom, my mom, Vince's mom, and my good friend Ella from church, who did a lot of the prepping and planning ahead of time just to make sure everything came together nicely. Overall, I am very impressed, especially with my mom, because this is not her strong suit. My parents would tell me things here and there about what was going on, like they were gonna have a balloon arch, and just different props and how the gift bags looked and just little things but i didn't really envision how it would all come together and actually seeing it it came together so beautifully so the shower started at 2 p.m but vince and i were supposed to arrive around 2 30 just to give the guests time to come in and settle down and get seated so that they can all be there and watch us walk in but if you tuned into our last video one thing that we struggle with is being late so Vince and I were late to being late to our own event. I say all that because we actually didn't get to enjoy as many desserts as we wanted to. Well, at least I didn't. But best believe we did get a plate of food and our parents managed to box up a couple cupcakes as well as a couple slices of cake for us to take home. Ella did a great job with coming up with a variety of games for us to play throughout the event. The games definitely made it more fun and enjoyable for the guys who attended the event, which I really appreciated. I didn't get to capture all of the different games that we played, but we definitely played five to seven different type of games throughout the shower. Played the game where you guess how big my belly was, and then another game with a whole bunch of questions about me and Vince. Also a game to see who can dress the baby the fastest, and it had to be two guys, so they did a younger generation, then they also did an older generation. I only got footage of the older generation because it was a little bit funnier than the younger guys. Then also a game to see who can drink the juice out of the bottle the fastest. There may have been more that we played, I just can't remember, but I definitely got some footage that you'll see later on in this video of the games that we played. Okay, so in the next clip, you're gonna see us walk in and it was just so much attention. I didn't know what to do with myself. So it's a little awkward and cringy, but super cute and exciting all at the same time. <laughs> To Georgia, back to Atlanta. Money, how brothers and turn back. I fly Priscilla, I'll just be better. Don't no mess my eyes, but that ass. The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me. Nigga can't help but to touch. Smack it round a bit, then sit on some bubble. Hope I'm not doing too much. Change the addictions, pick up on the road Change my opinion, and change all my flows Change my approach, no more Love in these holes, and when it rains, it pours hey. You make me feel so primal That's why I am I'm just a man
A few inches later, day two, day three, day four. One eternity later, three days later, 12 seconds later, 3.28 a.m. Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Tomorrow, tomorrow for sure. Eventually, uh, 12 o'clock midnight, 8.01 p.m. The next day. <laughs>